Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. A workplace or anything like that, I always prefer somewhere like my, my own sort of space. Uh, we'll put some lockers in here, one... Like that, I'll put them as close together as I can, and I'm going to do a line of lockers all the way along here, like this. Maintenance announcement, plants need water. <laughs> okay, so I got that one, and then it's recommending that I put a drinks machine or a snack machine in here as well, isn't it? So let's swivel round here a little bit. I can easily fit that one in there, like that. And then I'll put a snack machine in this side. That one will go there. I can drop that one in there, like that. So I've got a nice big staff room here. I want to put a bin in here. I'll put one of those. I can't put one there on that side. So I'll put one on that side. And I will put another one over here. And a fire extinguisher is probably a good idea. Put that one in there. And you can see here, Prestige is climbing. So if I can get the Prestige to go up just a little bit higher on here. We'll put... I think maybe we should put a couple plants in the middle. That's what I'm thinking. Give them something to look at. There. Prestige level four. I was going to put a couple plants in here. I'm not going to now. I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to click on you and I'm going to move you over there. So I've got prestige level four in this room. That is absolutely fantastic. There we go. And then tip so that it is done. And there is my staff room. Looks beautiful. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before the break ends. You can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break or in a work room to make them work there. Pick up a member of staff, hover over and hold the left mouse button. Right. Doctor's GP's office. If you're feeling ill, the last thing you want to do is pump your body full of cheap artificial medicine. Okay. So stay at a Holistics Hospital, where our natural remedies are so expensive, they just have to be good for you. Holistics, where you can only hope it sticks. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. All right. Interesting adverts coming on now. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Janitors will help maintain all of these, restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. Right. Toilets are now unlocked, but what I forgot to do was put a bin over here. So we want to make sure that we have a bin over here. There, and I want a fire extinguisher for them as well. Drop one down there, invalid wall. Uh, yeah, uh, that, 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 that doesn't matter. We don't want that one there. Right, so I've got that one there. I've got an engineer. He's waiting. Appointment, GP's up. Why are they queued up there? Why not come over here and sit down on the bench? I don't understand. Why are you not able to just go and sit down on the... I've, I've made you a whole way... Oh, he is. He's, he's, he's over here now. Look. Ah, right. So he knows where it is. He's not too concerned about it. He's happy with that. I don't have a janitor. I've only got an engineer at the moment. So we, we know that we've got her. So I want to go to hire and janitor. Oh, I do have a janitor. New applicant in nine days, eight days. That's, that's time ticking by right there. Uh, so who is my janitor? All. That's not the ones that I'm employing. Ability all. That's well. That's 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 new hires. That is. Right. So uh, you are waiting. I've got Michael Solomon over here. Now if I. Click on her. She, it, Vera Tingle, she's the engineer. I've got... i got the engineer. i got Nurse Lola White. I've got um, a couple of people here with appointments. We'll oh, head janitor. I thought, of course, hospital. right. 
So the janitor does both, like the janitor janitorial work and the other work as well. Okay, so that's fine. So I need to build toilets. We need to go to rooms and we need to go to toilets. And we need to, so I need a minimum size room of 3 by 2 Toilets will be over here near the staff room. Uh, I'm actually thinking we could put them over, we'll put toilets over here. There, 3 by 2 over there. Toilet, cubicle, sink. I'm going to go with a If ever you have found two. yourself at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy my popular guide to good grammar. A public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. <laughs> Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. I really love this guy that is doing the the voice over the, the DJ stuff on the radio. That is he's absolutely brilliant. He's genuinely brilliant. Right, I got a window right there, so I don't really want to cover up the window. Thinking that we want to put the that one can go there. I can put the sink there. We don't normally have a sink like opposite, so I would put the sink here for them to use. The hand dryer would go next to it, but not covering up the window there. And I don't really want to put it in front of the door. So the hand dryer would go there. Like that. Then I want to have a bin in here, which would go next to the sink. Like that. And we will put a fire extinguisher in here as well. There. A fire extinguisher in every room. Okay, I'm happy with that as a toilet. There is our sweet, sweet porcelain. Right there. Toilet cubicles. Janitors will empty bins and unblock toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and um, other things. Right. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP can't, isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. General diagnosis is now unlocked. So I've got a GP here. I'm waiting on a nurse to come along. At the moment, we've just got the queue over there. As you expand the hospital more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. The larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP's offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for a queue warning above rooms. You can also hover over rooms to highlight people queuing for that room. Right. Increase hospital level by expanding the hospital with more rooms. So if I mouse over here, there's the queue in there. I don't have queue in this one. He's coming over. Why aren't they using this one? Unless they're waiting for an appointment. So what's he doing? Appointment pharmacy clamp. Once this page, uh, once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go. Effect. Ah, right. Item controls. Oh, that's 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 nothing. Archive people happy patient cured right I, I don't want to see okay ah uh, you've got to okay it right patients are reminded to stay away from the light patients are reminded to stay away from the light uh so where do i get the new information about new diseases that are being found oh what's this diagnosis decision pause We've exhausted all forms of diagnosis on the patient. We still don't know how to treat them. We'll need some more diagnosis rooms, otherwise the patient will leave. One of our patients, Marley Rutt, has been sent to all our diagnosis rooms. We're only 48% sure of the diagnosis. We can ask them to wait till we have more diagnosis rooms, take a risk and treat them anyway, or send them home. Get patient to wait. Right, patient can wait a minute. Uh, clamp. Once this grips a patient doesn't let go, flicks many living statues and self taking ch selfie taking jumps. Okay. No, I don't want to send you home. Duration twenty seven days. Appointment heading for queue. So he's in a queue. Right there. So how do I see what clamp is? You have got clamp. You've got grout. Oh, it doesn't tell me much else, uh, very much different about it. It doesn't tell me anything new about it. All I've got there is that you right here. What have you got? Take a break, pay, review, jobs, staff, customization, fire, pick up, mood stats, log. 
Clive Goose diagnosed by Raquel Dynamite and GP's office. $500. 100%. I see. Right. Okay, so we, we've got a whole load of stuff here, but no, we want another diagnosis room. Let's, let's, let's uh, try and focus here a little bit, shall we? Minimum size room, a three by three. We'll add that down here. We'll just go like this, because this is our basic um, new hospital. You know, I'm going to go with a four by four with this room. I've just got a feeling that it might be better, because I'm looking at the machines that we've got over there. On easy scan, I need an examination table. So the examination table would go over into this corner over here like that, I would say. And then we will put a filing cabinet in here. We will put a bin in here as well. We will put a fire extinguisher in here as well. And that appears to be all that we need in this room. So I don't want anything else in here. I just want, like those bits so i didn't need this room to be quite so big but we will leave it here anyway it, it can go like that um so that one is going to go like that uh well done hospital level has increased and keep expanding to attract more patients and staff so general diagnosis over here do i need another gp to do that cure two patients stat oh i see right uh nurse required that room in there nurse lola white q length four Patients process 12, total revenue $64,000. And then I can look at Q here. I've got clamp, grout, clamp, grout. And I'll look in here. Stats in here, Dr. Raquel Dynamite. Patients 18, total revenue $9,000. She's, she's doing pretty good. Right, so I need in this room in here, I need to have a nurse. So we've got to hire a new, a new nurse. I'm thinking that we want to hire two nurses. So that we've got them, they'll go between the two. I don't know how that's going to work, though. We'll have to see. Uh, an assistant. Oh, that's just like, yeah, that, uh, I don't want to worry about that at the moment. Right. Who have we got? I got one nurse here, increased treatment skills, plus 10% treatment skill. Hmm. Max Strudel doesn't have anything in particular. Our current nurse that we've got, her over here, she's actually got increased oh pharmacy skills and increased diagnosis skills as well. That would be a good nurse to put in here. Like, she'd be good to go between, actually, both rooms, right? She would actually be good. Uh, ten, plus 10% treatment skill. Hmm. Right. She's a short temper. Quick learner. Should develop quickly. We'll hire her. She's a quick learner. I like this one. So we're going to bring her and we're going to dump her in there like that. Now, I'd like to have a spare nurse between these two. Although I, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Because now that she's back, she's off of her break. I'm hoping that that will work out. All right. So there, I've now got the new nurse in that room. Cure two patients. There's one of two. She is cured. Next one is going to go in. We've got another pharmacy one over here got the drug mixer and then i've got this person here who's coming in for some advanced diagnosis what about you what are you doing pharmacy appointment you are number two on the queue so i've got additional <laughs> just slapped him on the head oh that was brilliant it just slapped him right on the head right then okay so you are coming over here. Marnie Rutt, diagnosis 66%. Oh, she's coming now down to GP's office to get further diagnosis. There's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep on top of things. Right. Increase hospital level by expanding the hospital with more rooms and staff. Uh, oh, we got that room is being repaired. I've got one of our patients, Marley Wright, has been sent to all our diagnosis rooms. We're only 76% sure of diagnosis. Now, it's going to wait to have more diagnosis rooms, take a risk and treat them, or send them home. Right, I hired extra. Marnie Rutt was the one that we were having trouble with anyway. Do I give her a, do I do another diagnosis room? I could go with another diagnosis room, I suppose. 
Our doctors have exhausted, exhausted all forms. We need to build another, uh, build other diagnosis rooms. Pause a minute. Rid of that one. Get patient to wait. Right, Marnie Ruck is the problem patient. Let's Andrew Fidget. Marnie Rutt, you're the problem patient, you are. The problem patient. So I need another diagnosis room. Now, another diagnosis room and another pharmacy room as well. We want one of each. And I'm going to I'm gonna change this around a little bit. And we're, So we're going to go to rooms like this. I'm going to go to the... I want to go to this room. Customize. Oh, I see. Right, no, I don't want to customize. Uh, uh, copy items, edit. Edit room blueprint. That's what I want to do. Right, I want to move you that way. I want to move you that way. I want to move you... I'll uh, move you up there a minute. I want to move you that way. Like that. And then I want subtract from room. I'll take those out, and then I want to put that one, actually, that out over here a minute, move you there, put the bin over in that corner, and then put this one over here, right, that's what I want to do with that one. Tick that one. That one's going to go there. And then I'm going to build a second diagnosis room right next to that one. So, oh, a ward. Cure and diagnose a range of illnesses like B&B &B without the breakfast. General diagnosis, basic diaper scanning and reflex checks, one in a hospital. It says I need more diagnosis rooms. Maybe I just need the ward. This is a minimum of four by three. Like that. And then I've only got space for two up through here. So I could either put that in and have one there. Or I can build two more of those rooms here and build a ward over this side. I'm going to go with the ward over this side. So I'm going to cancel that. Yes, I want to stop editing that room. I'm going to go back to rooms over here. Actually, I'm going to go to this room here. And I'm going to create a copy of that room which is going to be dropped down right there like that and that's right on the same window and everything that's excellent so i'll drop that one down there i don't need to change anything around we can keep that one there and then this room i don't know if i want the gp or the diagnosis room I'll go with that room there, and I will copy that one, and I will drop that one down into this corner here. Like that. And the only change I'll make, because the window is in a slightly different place, is I'm going to move the bin. The filing cabinet is going to go that way. Over there. That one's going to move up a little bit. That one is going to go there, and then that one is going to go next to it down there. And that's the change I'm going to make to that room there. So that one is done. Like that. Get hospital level four. So I want two more nurses to work in these rooms. So I want to go to hire uh, nurses. We've got Brian Beetroot in here. Increased diagnosis skills. So Brian Beetroot, definitely hire and drop into general diagnosis. Well done, the hospital level has increased. Keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. I want to hire another one. We've got Max Strudel or Horatio Barnacle, both about the same. They don't have any particular. Has potential, keeps buying scarves, but doesn't use them. 50% learner. Likes to argue. Funny, makes people laugh. Argues with other argumentative people. Never returns favours. I think he can go into the pharmacy room. Ooh. And then we've got one more nurse I suspect that we're going to want on a ward. And I'm going to put that over into this corner. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to build a ward. This has got to be a minimum of four by three, which is going to go like that. Uh, I've then got, if we have a look here, I've got three squares there, which I don't want. I don't want that at all. So what I will do here is 
Cancel that, yes. I'll do that again. I don't know how I was supposed to go back to making the room bigger. I'm going to bring that one out so it's a 4x4. Four four, like that. So then the corridor is a 2x2. Two two. Is, is that what I want? Do I want the corridor to be 2x2? Two two? We'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with the corridor being 2x2 two two on there at the moment. So invalid corner location. Why can't it go in the corner? It's a big door, I guess. We go out from the corner ever so slightly. Right. So you, I've got a nurse's station right here. That one will go like that. Uh, there, nurse's station, and then we'll come over here, and we want these ward beds right which way round has that got to go i would say it's got to go like that really isn't it so I put one there i need a bed so oh that's that's a screen i see right and then the bed i want that one to go that way round i put one of those there another bed there not reachable ah Oh, that's made that one not reachable. So I've actually got to move that bed there. You need to move over a bit so that that one then becomes reachable. So I've got to do it like that. You, you, you've actually got to have quite a bit of space around the bed in order to be able to make it reachable. So I'm only able to have two beds in this room. I can put a locker in here, which does make sense because we've got the screen right there. So I'll put a locker there. The filing cabinet over this side near the nurse's station does make sense and we'll put a window on this one i need a fire extinguisher fire extinguisher there and we'll put the bin there and then the window oh bedside tape do you want to unlock bedside table for k50 you have K60 available. Each one will cost $250. So where, where, where do you get the K from? It says I have K60 available. Let's not do that a minute. What's this? Uh, uh, can place their tat. Current total K60. I guess you get that by building up um, various things. That builds up your room prestige as well. Uh, but the... Uh, well, you're going to want a plant. This this is a hospital. You know, they're, they're going to want something in here to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I'll put a plant here like that. And then a window. That was the other thing I wanted, wasn't it? It was a window. And I can put a window right there like that. Now, my prestige level is almost at level three. So I could put another window in here somewhere. Do I want to do that? That Oh, it's got to go in the middle of each section. That kind of makes the ward feel a bit open if I stick a window there. I think that'll be all right because they can use privacy. They can always close it if they need to. And... Uh, Jasmine Odyssey. I haven't used this at all yet. Let's put the Jasmine Odyssey picture. Ooh, that boosted the prestige up. So there, we've got a nice prestigious room. I will keep that one. That is looking swish. That is looking swish, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. It's a beautiful room. I need a nurse. So we want to go to higher. And I want Horatio Barnacle. The final nurse. Has potential. Keeps buying scarves. 50% uh, learning speed. That nurse is going to go into the ward. So if I click on the ward. No, I don't want to click. I want to click on the room. General diagnosis. There, ward. That's what I want. Um, extra staff. No, diagnosis. Allow patients to be sent here for diagnosis or treatment. Oh. So I've got to choose treatment or diagnosis. Diagnosis. i got to, yeah, I have got to choose. So we will allow patients to be sent here for diagnosis Right, diagnosis. They can go there for the diagnosis. That's what we want. We're going to need them here. 
So then if I go back to play, oh, there's our K, K60 down there. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work there in room setting. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. Right. You. Further diagnosis required. Hospital reputation is now good. This will attract even more patients and staff. Go to you down here. Send for treatment. Send home. Further diagnosis required. I need you to go. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Okay. Protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. I got a new illness. Our docs have discovered a new illness, bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient to, for treatment in our pharmacy. <laughs> We're taking applications for a new PA announcer. <laughs> new PA announcer. Need applications. All right, so we should have our patient over here should go for further diagnosis in the ward. We might have too many nurses. Several are currently idle. That's in treatment rooms. So, uh, it's, the, it's the treatment rooms where they're idle. Deluxe clinic unlocked. If I take her... Hospital star rating. The two-point health ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one-star rating. <laughs> Right. By completing objectives and challenges, uh, challenges our organization earns kudosh. You can use this to unlock items to use in any of our hospitals. Check the items list to see what we can afford. Okay. Use it wisely. Now, Marnie, over here. How do I get her to go in here? Oh, wait. New illness. Our doctors have discovered bed face. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. Oh, wait a minute. Let me click on here. Treatment. Ah. I've only got treatment available in the ward at the moment. I've disabled diagnosis. So if I do that, I've now got diagnosis and treatment available in there. Right, now she's going... Okay, it was the op opposite way round to what I had it previously. I had it wrong. It's the opposite way round. So he's coming in here Your for treatment. Your comfort is important to us. Please try to be comfortable. She's coming over as well. She's waiting for diagnosis in here. Appointment ward bed face. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we're getting the people in here. What do you got, then? Diagnose... Oh, so your diagnosis is uncertain. So I've got these diagnoses. There's a couple of nurses here. In some well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later